Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is your boy Martin and in this video we're gonna be doing a quick little squad builder for the upcoming foot champions uh, Weekend League which I believe the requirements are To have either a La Liga team or a Bundesliga team or a mix But yeah, we're actually gonna be doing a quick mix a little hybrid going so yeah uh, It's gonna be one of the best best squads to to use in, in this upcom upcoming weekend league and we're gonna be having a cheaper option to Ronaldo So yeah, if you want to see who that is uh, Stick in and you'll be using your your cheaper Ronaldo and he's gonna beast it up and score goals and yeah He's gonna win your game. So let's go into the goalkeeper position we're gonna be keeping it simple and have the highest rated goalie in this game. Um, he cost me around 134k. I bought him Sunday, so I think uh, I bought most of these players on Sunday, so most of their of their coins by now have uh, have risen a little bit. So yeah, oh, you could also uh, you could also use a uh, farming or Leno uh, cheaper options if you don't have the funds for for Neuer. Well, yeah, let's go on to his center back uh, teammate, which will be Jerome Boateng. Yeah, I mean, I think he's six for six foot four as well. 79 pace, 90 defending, 85 physical. Put a shadow card. His pace will go up to around almost 90 defending. I mean, it's it's the maximum it could go. So yeah, six for four cannot go wrong with him. So yeah, let's go on to the left back position. Uh, Alaba, David Alaba, we're gonna be using him, and yeah, there's been uh people that have been saying or that have been not really wanted to to get him. I, I I don't see the reason why not. I mean, if you look his look at his stats, all all, all all of his stats are over 70. So yeah, and I've used him. I've used all these players for around uh like more than 10 games. So I I have I think I have enough experience to to say that. Oh, I mean, obviously I've used him in for champions but but yeah I, I think he David Alaba 5 foot 11 could win headers I mean long shots as well so you cannot go wrong with him so yeah let's go on to the right center back position we're gonna be changing the league so we're gonna be going La Liga I think I passed it or did I pass it I went the wrong way so yeah La Liga we're gonna be going with Sergio Ramos I mean Sergio Ramos has played over 500 games for me and he's been one of the best center backs along with Chris Molling that I've used so I mean if there's a player that I recommend Sergio Ramos over 500 games so um, I mean I'm speaking with experience so yeah six foot I mean he wins most of the headers if not all the headers even though he's six feet I mean high 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 attacking work rate work rate which I, I couldn't really notice it but I mean yeah definitely recommend them so Onto the right back position, which uh, I usually don't use uh, right backs from La Liga, but since uh, I'm going through, I'm going to have a right side La Liga. I'm going to be going with Montoya and instead of Demarcos because I checked his stats, and I mean Montoya has a lot of a lot more a lot more of everything, not just like on the card. I've I've seen his in-game stats and it just beats him beats him in general. Maybe is a his, uh, I believe he, I, I believe that Marcos has a SBC card, which I haven't actually checked that that card. But if you guys have him, I think he'll, him or this informed Montoya would would do the work as well. So let's go on to the center mid position. Uh, who are we gonna go with? We're gonna be going with Cas, uh, no, not Casemiro, <laughs> Isco. We're gonna go with Isco the Disco. Yeah, another player that I've used over 300 games. So. Even though his stats are not are not too like uh, exaggerated, I mean 40 goals, 65 assists. That's not the best, but it's not the worst. But he he just gives it that that, that tiki taka type of type of play. So he really does connect the the midfield the midfield to the forwards. And yeah, he he has a he has a, a long shot as well. So I mean definitely reckon, recommend him as well. So. Let's go on to the middle center mid, which now we're going to be using Casemiro. I just bought him. Uh, I used him uh, in prior weekend leagues, and I think three weeks ago. Uh, he he was he he wasn't the best, but I I did I did like him, but I didn't like him to the point that I'm going to be using him, be using him every weekend league. But yeah, I mean now I'm be using him because I mean he has a a man of the match card, 86 rated. 
His stats go up around 3 and everything compared to his uh, inform. Cost me 103k, which now I believe he's going for... I think he's going over 130k. Yeah, so I made a few a uh, few coins off of him. So yeah, Casemiro 6 feet. Yeah, 6 feet. You could actually, be, you could actually also use Enzonzi or uh, Iborra. I, I think those are great options as well. But uh, I like Casemiro because he has a little bit more dribbling and... And shooting, so yeah, I think uh, better overall overall car compared to Enzonzi and Iborra. But yeah, let's go into the left center mid, which we're gonna go back to the Bundesliga and and go with Renato Sanchez. I've used I, I use Renato Sanchez like three straight weekend weekend leagues, like towards the beginning of FIFA. So I only have 14 games with this one because I had sold the the card I had with him uh, before. But yeah, Renato Sanchez. Uh, I mean. There's not much to say about him, but that he's one of the best uh, uh, cheaper options to any midfielder. So yeah, Renato Sanchez, definitely go with him. If you want to go Vidal, then go right ahead, but I'd rather go with Renato Sanchez. And he'll, he'll save you a lot of coins, so. Yeah, right forward. I mean, there's only one guy you can go with, right? The best in the world, which I can't find the league. The best in the world, the best player in the world. And it's going to be Lionel Messi, which if you've seen the... The regional, the regional matches, uh, Kid Mamito just banged in uh, long shots with Lionel Messi. I have played uh, 14 games, 9 goals, 5 assists. Um, pretty much, what is that, 9 plus 5, what's 9 plus 5? I think that's 14, is it? I'm not, I'm not that good at math, but yeah. Uh, yeah, Lionel Messi could bang him in from anywhere. Free kicks, long shots, in the box. Yeah, pretty much everything he could do. Yeah, Lionel Messi... Definitely go with him or Gareth Bale if you want, but I mean, it's pretty much all preferences. I like uh, more uh, smaller and dribble like people, uh, players that could dribble more. So, Bale is more, I think, the more uh, a player that you could just like go down the wing and and just uh, body players or defenders and bang them in as well. But yeah. Uh, onto the forward position, uh, I mean, I'm gonna go with Griezmann. Griezmann's been my man since. I can remember I bought him for 234k when I, I mean I've used him for over 400 games so obviously now his price has freaking gone down to almost uh, what's yeah 130 140k so yeah I bought him a long time ago his price obviously has gone down by a lot but yeah Griezmann along with Sergio Ramos uh, have been one of the the key players to most of my weekend league so yeah Another player that I definitely, definitely recommend Griezmann. You cannot go wrong with him. Or, I mean, if you have the coins, then you could buy Suarez, uh, team of the year. But yeah, no, Griezmann definitely the best. But yeah, moving on to the the cheaper, cheaper option to Ronaldo is this man right here, Yannick Ferreira Carrasco, right here, five foot eleven, four star weak foot, four star skill moves. Obviously, doesn't have. Uh, the five star skill moves that Cristiano has, but I mean, 92 pace, 88 dribbling, 83 shooting, 83 passing, 70 physical, which obviously isn't the the 80 something physical or 90 something physical that Cristiano has. But I mean, uh, it, it doesn't. You can't really notice the strength uh, the, or the lack of strength that that Carrasco has in game. But yeah, definitely. A cheap option to Ronaldo. He's definitely a beast, uh, as you're gonna be seeing in the in the clips right now. He he bangs them in from anywhere, and definitely definitely recommend them. So, yeah, this is the squad. I think this uh, this squad will do wonders for me. I mean, hopefully, hopefully it does wonders for me. Uh, I haven't actually used uh, uh, La Liga and Bundesliga in any weekend league so i usually just use uh, la liga or bpl so hopefully uh, i'll i'll do good in the upcoming weekend league and yeah we in the bench you, we have uh, la liga players and bundesliga players probably Iñaki williams and and Wer werner will, will come on or in bolo as well uh as super subs but yeah i won't be able to use my hazard or best or or anybody or any of these any uh, any other other of these players but yeah let's get straight into the gameplay then let's go so yeah what you're seeing on screen right now is a uh, gameplay from division one I actually had four games left and I had to win all of them to win the division one title 
But yeah, what you're also going to be seeing is Messi hitting them long shots for days right there. Messi with the RB finesse shot into the back of the net. I mean, yeah, what a beast. Right here, Renato Sanchez puts it through. Ball to Car Carras Yann Yannick Ferreira Carrasco, his full name, man, puts it into the back of the net. I mean, Renato Sanchez for a 78 rated player, really, 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 really good. And yeah, he's the orchestrator of most of my, most of my attacks, as you're going to be able to see in the clips and right here Neuer he saved the first shot but I mean he couldn't save the second shot that shot was just unsavable right there Messi with a bit of trickery right here puts it to Isco Isco to Renato Sanchez like I said back to Isco and he puts it into the back of the net Isco showing that he could hit them long shots uh, who is this oh Neuer, Neuer, Neuer with another save right there Renato Sanchez again puts in uh, who was that Griezmann Griezmann Unlucky right there, couldn't finish that right there. But yeah, Isco onto Casemiro. Casemiro with the long shot and unfortunately hits the post. But yeah, Casemiro showing that he could hit them long shots right here. He puts in a great through ball to Messi. Messi one on one with the goalkeeper, won't miss. And he just doesn't. But yeah, dodgy goalkeeping right there from the goalie. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't want him. Was that Neuer, I believe? Yeah, hopefully my Neuer doesn't do that right here. Carrasco with some little drib dribbling right there. And yeah, Car Carrera Carrasco, really, really good and definitely recommend him. Just doesn't miss a lot from from inside the box. And yeah, who, someone who does miss is Casemiro, as you've seen. I think he's had like two 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 shots right there in the, mid and in the box and he's missed them. But that's not that's not what he does. But who does that is Carrasco. He puts, he puts it into the back of the net. I mean, goalkeeping... Uh, I don't know what's up with that goalie. I think it was Leno. Yeah, not the best right there. But yeah, Messi on the bar right here. He's going to take on most of his defenders. He's going to put it again into the back of the net. Another long shot. RB finish. Right button. Right bumper. Whatever it is. Yeah, into the net right here. Griezmann puts an assist to Yannick Ferreira Carrasco. And he does not miss. Like I said, Griezmann, who actually hasn't had the best of games. As you see, another save from Neuer. Or not the best of games. I mean, who in these four games uh, doesn't really score a lot. But he, I didn't. I actually don't show his assist. But his a lot of his assists were, were distributed throughout those four games. So, I mean, he's had around two each game or one each game. So... I mean, if he's not scoring them, he's in the, he's assisting them. So I mean, 400 games with him, uh, just uh, just to be right here. Messi is gonna show his penalty taking skills. He's gonna take his time, move a little bit to the right. He's gonna run up one v one against Neuer, Neuer, Yoris, and he's gonna chip him down the middle. Yeah, oh, uh, he could knock down the penalties as well, obviously. But I mean, I, anyone could knock him down. But right here, Messi with a through ball into Griezmann, who I just said wasn't scoring, and he actually does score. Yoris doesn't even bother. He's just like, you know what? Just score on me. I don't get. I don't give a fuck. But yeah, Messi is showing his free kick skills, but actually he's not gonna put it into the back of the net. But yeah, uh, Carrasco doing a little bit of bicicletas, <laughs> putting. Who's gonna put it? Renato Sanchez? Like I said, Renato Sanchez back to his goal into Messi, and Messi does not score. But yeah, he's gonna uh, uh, pass out to the pass out to one of his defenders. Badly intercepts Casemiro Isco. Isco back to Casemiro and Casemiro back to Isco and Isco is going to put it into the back of the net. Isco who actually has a, I believe he is third in form. Yeah, I think it's his third in form. I think he has a second in form which is in the right wing position. Uh, I definitely recommend picking the, the third in form because I mean who's going to want to play with an Isco at right wing. Um, I'm actually going to try to pick him up for, for the weekend league. I'm pretty sure he's gonna. He has a, It's it's an upgrade to a center posi position card, so hopefully that that'll that'll do the he'll do the job for the weekend league. But yeah, uh, all in all, this squad. I mean, it does cost a fair uh, a good amount. So I mean, for you you guys that don't have uh, the coins to or the funds to to make this squad, I'll definitely recommend uh, doing like cheaper versions of this. I mean. Just uh, just look at the stats of each players and try to find a player that that has a like uh, similarities or to 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 those players and uh, go that way. So, but if you guys do have it, then then obviously build this squad. I mean, this squad is really good. Won me the Division One title, which is uh, which is good. 24 points. So lost twice, but the, that that wasn't with this squad. It was with another squad. But yeah, I mean, hope you guys. 
Ho hopefully you guys could, could make this squad and yeah this is gonna be the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed it drop a like hit that subscribe button all that good stuff and yeah i'll catch you guys next time peace out